In case you didn't know, Mirio is a My Hero Academia character. He is a hero with the quirk known as Permeation. He has the ability to pretty much make anything phase through his body. He can either make him... Basically, he can pass through anything that's matter. He can make he can either make his entire body permeable or just a body part. And what's cool about him is that he has a unique outfit made out of his own hair. It's made out of the fibers of his own hair. So basically it allows him to it allows his outfit to permeate with him. If he was just in normal clothes, he would just end up naked. The drawback to this quirk is that even his own breaths permeate through him. So if he permeates his whole body, then he can't see, he can't hear, and he can't breathe. Technically, he can't use any of his five senses, because he can't, obviously can't touch you, and you can't touch him. He can't taste, and also when he permeates his whole body, he can't see, hear, or breathe. So basically, he loses all access to his five senses. And it's a tough quirk to master. But considering how determined Mirio is in the series, he basically turned from a, a, his own quirk being a liability for him to being quite possibly the most OP character in the series. And we will and today we will be ranking Super Smash Bros. Ultimate characters based on whether they could defeat Mirio at full power. Let's do it. What's up everyone? RC Thunder here. Today we'll be doing a special video where we'll be doing a tier list video ranking Super Smash Bros. Ultimate characters based on if Mirio Togata can defeat them. Alright, so we're on the tier list, and we have several, we have some tiers here. We have successful for characters who will most likely succeed against Mirio. Win with injuries, who would most likely win, but not without injuries. Just barely wins, meaning that they would just barely come out on top. We have may not win, meaning that they that there's a ch that they could win, that there's a chance that they could lose. We have only plot armor would save them. In case you didn't know, plot armor is an anime term that pretty much means that a character will win because of the plot. And we have would lose, and we have wrecked. Those are the characters who are who would actually would absolutely get destroyed by Mirio. And I'm pretty sure that this is alphabetical order, right? Let's see. Yeah, this is alphabetical order. Okay, that's pretty cool. So first we have Bayonetta. Bayonetta, I think, would win with injuries, honestly. Bowser Jr., I'm thinking... Yeah, he would lose. Bowser, though, Bowser would be successful. Captain Falcon would win with injuries. Krom may not win. Cloud just barely wins. Corrin just barely wins. You know, actually, Corrin may or may not win because, like, Daisy gets wrecked. Just right here, Daisy gets wrecked. Dark Pit only plot armor would save him. Dark Samus may not win. Diddy Kong would get wrecked. Donkey Kong would get wrecked. I'm going by their move sets and and Diddy Kong's really only projectile attack is his peanut pop gun neutral B and Mirio would just permeate right through that. So and DK, despite me loving to play as DK, he's my secondary. Donkey Kong doesn't have 
any projectiles, period. And the best way to succeed against Mirio is to have at least somewhat of a ranged attack. Me Gunner is a good example. She would just barely win. Me Brawler... With the other two Mii's, only plot armor would save them. Dr. Mario would lo would get wrecked. Well, actually, he'd lose, because he's a doctor. And who knows, Mirio might not want to hurt a doctor. But then again, this is Smash, after all. Duck Hunt would lose. Fox and Falco would just barely win. Ganondorf would succeed. Greninja would win with injuries. Ice Climbers would lose. Ike, I think, would win with injuries. Incineroar may not win. Inkling would get wrecked. Sorry, Inkling mains, but like we're going canonically. We're going. We're also going canonically either. Because obviously, since Mirio is not a video game character, he does not have any video game origins, he will never get into Smash. As cool as it would be. But, yeah. Isabelle would get wrecked. Jigglypuff, wrecked. Joker, I think Joker would have... Joker would just barely win. You know what? No. Joker would have plot armor because he's an anime character. Ken. Ken may not win. King Dedede would win with injuries. Same with King K. Oh, sorry. Same with King K. Rule. Kirby. You know what? Kirby's a god. Like, Kirby's a literal god. Like, Kirby would be successful. See, Kirby would be successful because he could just inhale Mirio and gain his ability. We we'll, we'll pro we don't know and probably will never know if Kirby could potentially copy a My Hero Academia character's quirk if he inhales them. But if he can copy the abilities of people in his world, I don't see why... My Hero Academia characters would be any different. Link would win with injuries. There we go. Little Mac would lose. Worst character in the game. Sorry, but it's true. Lucario would win. Like, Lucario would have plot armor. Lucas. Lucas would lose. Yeah, Lucas would lose. Lucina may not win. The Mario Bros. I don't know where to put them. The Mario Bros. would just barely win. So Mario and Luigi would just barely win. Marth would just barely win. Mega Man. Mega Man would have plot armor. Meta Knight. I don't know about Meta Knight. Meta Knight would just barely Meta Knight would win with injuries. Mewtwo would be successful because Mewtwo is a very powerful legendary Pokemon. So Mewtwo would definitely be successful. Game and Watch would lose. He would no, he wouldn't lose. He would just get wrecked. He'd get destroyed. Ness would just barely win because although Ness does get his power from the earth. Mirio could just permeate through a lot of its attacks, so... Since a lot of Ness's attacks might be able to hit Mirio, if maybe he can surprise him somehow. But... Other than that, like... Ness would just barely win. Olimar would get wrecked. Pac-Man would get wrecked. Palutena would be successful because... She's a literal goddess. Peach would get wrecked. Pichu would get wrecked. P 
Pikachu would have plot armor because of the Pokemon anime. Piranha Plant. You know, why did I put Joker here? I put Joker in the wrong tier. Piranha Plant would lose. Like, Piranha Plant would lose. Pit would have plot armor. There. Pokemon Trainer. Pokemon Trainer might be able to win if maybe he can tire out Mirio with Squirtle and Ivysaur and maybe bring in Charizard to finish the job. So, Pokemon Trainer, I think, would win with injuries because obviously Mirio's not fighting the trainer. He's fighting Squirtle, Ivysaur, and Charizard. So, technically, it's three against one. Richter would just barely win. Ridley's a powerful stray dragon, so he would win with injuries. Robin would win. I think Robin would win with injuries. Rob would lose. Like Rob would lose. Rosalina. Despite her being quite possibly the worst character in the game, she would most likely win because she's like the guardian of the, of the entire galaxy. So I think she would win, actually. Roy would win with injuries. Samus may not win. Sheik would have plot armor. Shoke would have plot armor. Simon... Simon... Just barely wins. Simon is just like Rick here. He'd barely win. Snake may not win because... Obviously, if Snake is an infamous military spy, then... If he's really that famous, then... Mirio would most likely know about him and would know a lot of his gadgets. So... Yeah. Sonic would be successful because... Obviously, with the as long as he has all the Chaos Emeralds, he can transform into Super Sonic or even Hyper Sonic at any time. Toon Link would lose. Toon Link would lose. Villager would get wrecked. Wario would lose. Sorry, little Z. Sorry, little Z. Uh, Wolf, I think Wolf would be, Wolf would, may not win. You know what, Wolf would win with injuries because he's as skilled as Fox and Falco. Yoshi would get wrecked. Young Link would lose. Zelda would win with injuries. Zero Suit Samus just barely wins. Hero wins with injuries. Banjo gets wrecked. Terry, my main Terry, would win with injuries. And I'm promised I'm not being biased. Violeth would just barely win. Min Min may not win. And Steve would lose. Unfortunately, Sephiroth's not on here, but... Eh? Sephiroth literally just got revealed like two days ago. Like, when was Sephiroth revealed? I, yes, yeah, Sephiroth was revealed like... Like, literally, like, three or four days ago. So, so Severoth will most likely not be on an average Smash tier list yet. Half the fan base doesn't even know what his render looks like. Well, I've seen videos. I know what his render looks like, but I'm not spoiling anything. And for those of you who don't know... I, this may or may not be final because we have not seen Sephiroth's full moveset. 
But if I were to go canonically here, I'd say that Sephiroth would win with injuries. I think he'd either be successful or win with injuries, because he, he does have... He may just look like he has a sword, but... If need be, he could just use black materia, which... He can summon giant black meteor storms, which would definitely not be easy for Mirio to dodge, so... Yeah. Alright, that's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed, and this is RC Thunder signing off. Please like and subscribe, and share this video with a friend. And this is RC Thunder signing off. Bye bye